Ten my god. Dit is wel een zonde zijn hoofd, dus niet uitdagen. Ja, is er hij, mannen. Lekker zon en uh, manstaan, hè. Super, ik moet het Dit is toch niet zo nieuw, hè. We zijn net in licht aan. Zijn we denk je als we die daargordijnen toe maak? Alsjeblieft, man, als jullie kan. Ja, zo net bij zijn zonne, bo. Maar ik hoor, het was bijna donker, dus het was 9 uur de kant voor ochtend al, was het nog steeds donker. Hier, nou is het donker, hoor. Lucht er aan? Lucht er aan? Nee, kom het? Ah, nee. Wat zei je nog niet zo? Julien weet niet hoe ze uitkomen. Ja, als hij. Een beetje gezegd, lekker romantisch ook zo. Kom maar. Dus kom je in die kamer, jongens. Ja, ik zie nou in de gaal. Is het daar uitdag, Sammy? Ja, dat is perfect, James. Dat is goed. Ik ben een lekker other guy, guys in now. Maar kan eens begin. Oké, ik wil eigenlijk onze biceps aan krijgen, dat is het belangrijkste. Ik heb een visie aan. Sammy? Ik denk allemaal komt in. Je man is al in. Yes, ben je mooi. Ja, als het oké is met allemaal, als ons tien uur kan waai, ons ding begin kwart uur, dat geeft ons een tijd om af te komen bij ons walk toe. Ja, dat is fijn. No problem, no problem. Thanks. Alright, gents, uh, can you hear and see us? Or can you see the guys in Munster? Jan? <laughs> you can see them. Ross? Yes, we can see in here. We can show okay. that it's a rumor that there's no sunshine. There is some sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll, I'll kick us off by just asking the gents firstly. Uh, gents, how are the conditions over there? Everybody settle in nicely? Jules? Yeah, I think um, we had three travel groups <laughs> traveling at different times uh, to get here, but everyone is safe. And uh, yeah, the guys had a good evening last night and then a good morning this morning. So we, um, you know, like I said, after this, we've got a meeting and then team session. So then we'll be able to tell you what it's like training <laughs> in the conditions. But it's actually not looking bad. Like I said, there's a little bit of sunshine. We had to close the curtains behind us because the sun's actually out. Jakes, did you have a good night's rest? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> eh? uh, after 32 hour travel, uh, a bed is always your friend. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that a good rest and uh, yeah, just getting the body going again. All right, great. All right, guys, let's get down to business. Okay, I'll, I'll hand it over to the to the journalists that we've got online. Uh, by raise of hands, um, can we kick it off? Jan, do you want to kick us off? Hi. Uh, Hello. Yes, Jan. Hold on. You on mute, Jan? Yeah, you on now. <laughs> no. Back <laughs> unmute. Try, try to unmute me. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Okay. Uh, can you guys tell me now where? I'm going to say well, yeah. partner. Loud and clear. Go Thanks, for man. Jan. Sorry, guys. My mute button is not working. My side. Um, Yaka. Uh, from a player's perspective, I know it's probably a question that's going to come up a lot. Um, what makes a difference? I mean, we've seen the Lions play some really good rugby on tour against European teams. I mean, we saw that game against Start, and, and then we suddenly see the games against the Stormers and the Sharks. And What makes a difference from a player's perspective that the guys can lift it themselves to, to that level and beat top European teams, but seems to struggle against South African teams? Yes, Jan, that's a very good question because uh, we've been trying to figure out the same thing a couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, just from a team environment, we spoke about it the other day. On Twitter, there's no external distractions. Um, I won't call family or wife distraction or whatever, but <laughs> uh, yeah, the guys um, only have themselves. And uh, yeah, it's it's bonding on tour, and uh, there's no, no one, nothing else to do than to get to know the guy next to you. And uh, yeah, then you can only use that excuse for so long because uh, yeah, it's not the first tour that this group has been on together. So we have to start shifting at our home games as well, or back in South Africa. Uh, yeah, we spoke about it. They always say no. We we struggle against South African sides and it's actually sad to see because uh, it's never been the case. Um, it, I just think it's a, it's a mental shift from the from the player side that we have to believe we can we can beat them. Um, as a follow-up to that, how important is it then for the Lions to, to win this week and, and get that proverbial monkey off your back? 
Yeah, definitely. Um, they always say if you want go to go to playoffs in, in any competition, you have to have to win your home games. And at this stage, we, we're not really winning our home games. So away games uh, is so much more important. And um, yeah, Munster is actually on a, on a good spell. So it's going to be a very tough game this weekend. Thanks for that, Jan. Uh, next up is Ati. Um, hi, guys. <clears throat> Compliments of the new year. Okay. Uh, just wanted to pose this question to you guys as to, again, uh, following um, Jan's question, I think, the first one. As to where do you see the Lions right now in terms of um, the South African franchise's um, ecosystem? You know, you guys seem to be at the bottom there. You know, um, why hasn't, again, you guys have failed to sort of match up with the Sharks, Thomas and Bulls in terms of, um, you know, com being competitive, you know, within that uh, local atmosphere? And again, looking into the um, the weekend game, uh, just how important is it, again, to to avoid that the defeat um, in the URC on the trot? Because you know how detrimental it can be looking at the, the, the lock standings. Mm. Jules, you want to take that? <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Um, you know, I think, like like Kirill just said, I think it's it's a great question, and it's a question we have to ask ourselves. It's been a year since we last beat a, a South African team in this competition. I think if you do think unemotional, uh, it is great teams. If you look at where the SA teams ended up last year in the first season playing in this competition, uh, it was one and two, and then the Sharks was also in the playoffs. So it is good teams. Um, that we do play against, we find ourselves in a tough competition or in a tough conference, if I can call it that. But I, I, I will agree with Kirill when he says it's a mental thing. I think one thing that we find is when we play against our African teams, they call the players on their names. And when we play against foreign teams, it's we play against the lock or the six or the, the ten. Um, because you know the players well, uh, and, and I, I think it boils down to belief, um, believing we can play against those guys believing we can beat them and like Kirill said earlier uh, uh, we went well how long was it we, we were unbeaten against any south african teams a couple of years ago so it's not something that we don't know uh, i think uh, someone mentioned it earlier we got to get the monkey off the shoulder it's going to take one good game of us to get that get rid of that belief system and, and start building a new belief system it's all about belief ross do you want to uh, ross you next Thanks very much, Nuriso. How's it, guys? Um, Julian, um, look, uh, obviously, you know, the depth of the Lions, uh, you, you guys don't have too much depth, and losing two big props in Rondra and Steve Satole for this tour must be quite the blow. Um, how has it been, you know, sort of trying to get the guys up to speed there in the front row department, you know, to uh, uh, take over from those guys? And uh, how's a guy like Morgan Nordi coming along who hasn't played that much for the Lions and, uh, you know, actually getting a big shot now on uh, a big tour? Mm. Yeah, uh, thanks for the question, Ross. I think what's lucky is if someone misses out, there's always someone else coming in. And, and these guys train really hard. And, and keep fit and, and it's actually a tough one as a player if you don't play and then when you get your chance uh, you actually feel like shit, these guys it's, they're getting their opportunity now so it's been good to see Asa um, standing up and, and, and filling in a title tight head um, spot and actually yeah, it's growing each week so that's been good to see Morgan last week coming off the bench and Lou said getting his chance, it's also good to see. Um, I think it's great when you do have your senior props because the guys learn from them quickly. And I think that's the benefit when these guys get the opportunities, they've had the opportunity to learn from the from the senior guys and then they can uh, get the game time and the game time is what will really make you go better. So, uh, and it's a great test for the guys playing in Munster against Munster uh, on tour. Um, it's going to be great that Munster Pack has, has done well recently. So it's going to be a massive challenge and, and we all know you don't grow when it's easy, you grow when it's tough. So that's going to be lacking for the guys just to get better and better in these conditions. Thanks. Up, and, uh, sorry, one more from me, Nyani. So, um, Yako, obviously the guys have mentioned, you know, how tight the log is and how important these games coming up are now. You know, you guys uh, were fifth before the two home, uh, before the two fixtures against South African oppositions, you're now down in 11th. And Minster are on their way up, you know. They beat, uh, they lost by one point against Leinster. They beat Ulster away. Um, so, very tough game. How uh, are the guys feeling in the camp and are they really fired up to try and uh, get another one over Munster like you guys did last year, although that was at home? 
Yeah, Ross, thank you. It's, um, it's a really tough one. I, I really believe, um, yeah, throughout my career, I, I believed if you if you look at the lock too much, you're going to put yourself under pressure. As you just said, uh, it's a tight lock. We went from 5th to 11th in a, uh, in, a, in a matter of two weeks. So for us, we have to take it week by week. And, and uh, we always said, no matter where or when we played, if you take it week by week, game by game, the, the log will look after itself. And uh, I think if you get sidetracked by the log, um, yeah, you're going to not focus on the on the job at hand. And um, obviously, speaking about the previous Monster game, I, I believe they, they're they going to be up for this game because, uh, yeah, they probably feel they owe us one uh, because, um, yeah, because of the previous result. But uh, yeah, they they really a team that's uh, that's uh, started out difficult. But uh, yeah, as you just mentioned, the last couple of results and the way they play, it's it's, it's a huge improvement to the start of the season. Mm. All right, guys, we've got two minutes. Uh, Jan, I'll give you the final one before we release the guys for for team meeting. Thanks. Uh, this one's for Julian. Julian, uh, how much do you guys? I know I don't know if Yaku's played there, but how much do you guys know about Musgrave Park? Uh, I think it's a first. Uh, for for the team, yeah, yeah. I don't know who in the team has ever played there because most of the time they actually play in, in Limerick. Um, so <laughs> I don't think Monster guys have even played there too much. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be new for us. Uh, but like we've said earlier, it's it's almost like our team does well with new and the unknown and uh, and being on tour. So uh, yeah, we are we off we off there. I think we have captains there tomorrow, so that's the first time I think well, 100% of our team will be there. Yeah. Uh, and so it's going to be interesting, but I do think it's something that uh, it's not a negative in our in our side. It's going to be a positive for us. Uh, is it a normal grass pitch or uh, astroturf? So uh, all four our games on tour is going to be on the on the artificial pitches. So. It is something that we don't even have in South Africa. Mm. Uh, normally, the guys with struggling joints uh, do struggle a little bit more on the artificial pitches. So uh, it's something uh, we get used to. Um, yeah, well, I think it, it helps because at least you have a pitch that's in a good condition when you play in those conditions. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Thanks, colleagues. Jakes, Jules. Uh, have Sorry, a good can session you talk? Can I yes, speak point? Yeah, quick sneaky one, eh? Sneaky, Thanks. sneaky. Otherwise, the guys are going to get fines. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Just another one for you, man. Um, with you guys having quite a long injury list, um, how important has it been for the more experienced guys like yourself, like Willem, um, who've had this experience in Europe before and that kind of stuff, uh, to sort of help lead the guys? Um, we've got a lot of youngsters in the group, and then you've also got a guy like uh, JC who's coming from the Blitzwalks for the first time now. Um, you know, how's it been from your guys' side on that perspective? No, definitely. Um, we all knew it's going to be a tough competition with the with the European and the Challenge Cup um, that's uh, joined the URC this year. And uh, yeah, with a couple of injuries, your depth has really been tested. So just to keep the guys calm and to make sure the whole squad is on the same page and know what to do, when to do it, um, I believe if you're... If your detail is there and uh, the system supports the players, uh, the, it will make it much easier for the younger guys to to slot in and play a better game. Uh, yes, uh, as we saw, Jared came through, uh, played a lacquer game this weekend. Can't wait to see JC play. Uh, so yeah, all of these guys will hopefully get an opportunity on tour to prove uh, to prove their worth. And it's uh, up to the to, to the more senior guys to 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 support those players, um, to give them all the equipment they need, and all the tools they need to to do to be the best player they can be in this competition. Because it's a really tough competition. It's world class players that you play against. Tough competition indeed. Jakes, Jules, you guys have got three minutes before your team meeting. <laughs> Colleagues, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks very much, guys. Bye, Donkey. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.